I was working for Arabs since I graduated and then in 1998 I decided to see what would happen if I left them and form my own practice. And so I started off working from home and was very fortunate that some architects like David Chipperfield and Zaha Hadid, who had projects abroad, were quite happy to collaborate with me and then I would collaborate with engineers in those countries. What I really enjoy about my job as a structural engineer is getting to understand what the requirements of the brief are from the client's point of view, what the aspirations of the architect are, what sort of aura the project should have, and trying to work out what are the best structural solutions that satisfy those requirements. For the Millennium Wheel, quite clearly from the beginning, one of the main objectives was to have something that would bring delight. It gave people a chance to see London in a way that ordinary people just couldn't, you know, unless you happen to work in the top of a tall building or fly over the city, you would never see it. And we also knew that it had to be beautiful, that when you look at it you must smile, and the fact that the, the glass is doubly curved and glints in the sunshine is really important. And there's quite a few projects that I've been involved with which I think are all about bringing delight. Very often it is to do with the views that you can get, um, certainly it's to do with comfort. I think it's really important that you can see actual sunlight as well, shafts of light. And also greenery, it's been shown that if you see some greenery on your way into work that levels of depression are likely to be lower. All of these kinds of humane aspects, which I think we all know about, it's common sense really, but it's great if we keep, keep reminding ourselves of it while we're designing.